electronegativity and acid-base properties of oxides. Electronegativity is a relative ability of a bonded atom to attract the shared electrons towards itself in a chemical bond. So we are looking at the ability of bonded atom, not a single atom, of a bonded atom. Okay, of a bonded atom to attract the shared electron towards itself. So this is bonded atom, atom H bonded to atom F. And we look at the ability of H to attract its shared electron and ability of F to attract its shared electron. That is electronegativity. We're looking at the ability of the bonded atom to attract the shared electron. The electrons spend more time closer to F. Here, the electron club, the red color, means electrons spend more time more closer to F. Okay? More closer to F. Electrons more closer to F. We know that between H and F, we know that there are two electrons. Okay? Two electrons. These two electrons are closer to F atom compared to H atom. Why? Because... F is more electronegative than H. F ends with a bond partially negative and H ends partially positive. So when you have different um, bond, different bond partially negative, partially positive, you call it as polar bond. Okay, HF has polar bond because electron, these two electrons are closer to F atom compared to H atom. They are still sharing. Just the position of these two electrons are closer to F because F is more electronegative. Means F attract, able to attract electron towards itself. Trends in electronegativity. Across a period, Nuclear charge increase, atomic size decrease. As we learned previously, so ability of an atom to attract the shared electrons toward itself increase, thus electronegativity increase across a period. So if you compare H and F, F on the periodic table, F is on the right side of periodic table, H is on the left side on the periodic table. Across a period means from left to right, mean F on the right side. So F nuclear charge is more than H nuclear charge. So the atomic size of F is smaller. So ability of an atom to attract the shared electron towards itself increase. So that's why F has more capability to attract electron. Is able to attract electron when you compare with H because F is more electronegative. Down the group, we know that the number of shell increase or the shielding effect increase, so the atomic size increase. Ability of an atom to attract the shared electron towards itself decrease, thus electronegativity decrease. So going down the group, the electronegativity decrease. Non-metals are more electronegative than metals because in periodic table, non-metal position, non-metal position is on the right side of periodic table. Metal position is on the right side of the period of the on the left side of periodic table. Metal left side, non-metal right side. That's why non-metal are more electronegative than metal because non-metal are on the right side across a period. Means from left to right. Okay, so on the right side is more electronegative. That's why nonmetals are more electronegative than metal. Okay, if you look at the trends in metallic character, metallic character is the ability to lose electron. Okay, electronegativity, we look at the ability to attract shared electrons. But Metallic character, ability to lose electron and form positive ion. So it tends to give out electron. That is metallic character. Metallic character decreases across a period. From left to right, metallic character decreases. Means across a period, the atom decreases the ability to losing 
electron and the metallic character increases down the group. The easier the electrons will be removed from an atom, the more metallic of the element. Because metallic character is ability to lose electron, metallic character increase with atomic size. Acid base properties. If you look at this element, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, formula of oxide means when it combines with oxygen, Na2O, MgO, Al2O3, SiO2, P4O10, SO3, Cl2O7. These are the formulas of oxide for these elements across period 3. This is period 3 from Na to Cl across period 3. Okay, the, these are their formula of oxide and types of compound. Na, Mg and Al, they are ionic compounds. Si is a giant network structure. P, S and Cl is molecular covalent compound. Molecular covalent because they are sharing electron. Ionic, they um, lose electron. Lose electron and accept electron completely. Lose electron and then accept electron to combine with oxygen. Okay, and then chemical properties. Basic oxides for sodium and magnesium. And for the rig for aluminium. Okay, so aluminium means it can be basic, it can be acidic, it can be both. That is a phosphoric meaning. Si till Cl, it, they are acidics. Interparticle forces. So for Na, Mg, and Al, during melting and boiling process, the substances need to overcome the strong ionic bond because they are ionic compounds. Ionic bonds are very strong. So more energy required to overcome the strong ionic bond. For Si, if you look at the type of compound, it's giant network structure. The substance needs to overcome the infinite number of strong covalent bond. So giant network structure has strong covalent bond if you compare to the normal molecular covalent bond. For P, S and Cl, molecular covalent bond, to boil or melt the substance, need to overcome the intermolecular forces, weak van der Waal forces. Okay, this is this uh, weak van der Waal forces is weaker than the strong covalent bond, which has giant network structure in Si. From Si to Cl, they are all acidic. Main group metal oxide, and A. Mg, for example, when react with oxygen, Na and Mg form basic oxide. These oxides are ionic compound. Na2O react with water to form base, sodium hydroxide. That's why it's basic oxide, because it's able to form base. MgO is insoluble with water, so it cannot react with H2O. However, it does react with acids to produce salt and water. So when this MgO can react with acid to produce salt and water is basic. Okay, MgO basic oxide because it can react with acid and it can produce salt and water. For Al and for the rig, okay, it can be both base and acid oxide. Al2O3 is an ionic compound, same as sodium and magnesium. If Al2O3 acts an acid, it reacts with sodium hydroxide and water to produce NaAlOH4. It, this one, it acts an, as an acid because it can react with basic. If Al2O3 acts as base, it will react with acid okay, to produce AlCl3 and water. For metalloid oxides, PSCl form acidic oxide. These oxides are covalent compounds in water or oxides in water. They act as acids producing H plus and reacts with bases. So SO3 plus H2O to produce H2SO4. So this is acid, sulfuric acid. This one, P4O10, react with water to produce H3PO4 acid. 
and Cl2O7 plus H2O produce acid. Okay, they're all producing acid when react with water. And these three acids can react with bases. Thank you.